Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are together with Bea Frisch. Bea Frisch is today in Shanghai at the Shanghai Auto Show. We are reporting live. Bea, tell us a little bit about uh, Shanghai. Do you see a normal uh, fare or uh, uh, fewer people than in the past uh, with you? Hello, first, good morning from Shanghai to you, Ferdinand, and everybody. Well, yeah, I have to say uh, Shanghai today greeted us with a very beautiful sunshine. And on the show, which started already, there were already the first press conferences. It's a lot of people. I feel like back to the normal car shows we had before. Well, I do one thing different. Usually, I would now wear my mask. So just for the beginning now, I will, because here yeah, in this area where I'm just walking are less people. So here I don't wear a mask, but I still need to take it off because this is one of the reasons why we can have a car show here. Wearing masks, having our QR code scanned, negative uh, C19 tests were necessary to come into the car show at all. You needed to register up front. How important is uh, Shanghai for China, for the city of Shanghai, but also for the car industry in China? Well, uh, Shanghai is a city, is the uh, location of a lot of manufacturers or even startups and other technical companies related to this. And the Shanghai Motor Show is, um, as it is every second year, the further in the even years it's in Beijing. So these two shows are very, very important. And now I think they became even the biggest one as the uh, Frankfurt Motor Show is not at that format anymore. So and on the other side, that people are very proud, as you just said, to be able to do a car show because of the quite yeah, rigid regimen to, to handle the corona pandemic. So, and this is the only way why we can do it. So, uh, it's a big event for Mercedes today, the Shanghai Automotive Show, because they show the EQS, the most important car, of course, for Daimler, for Mercedes, and especially for the Chinese car market. So, uh, Bea is now at Tesla. Tesla had a relative small booth uh, in the big show in Shanghai. And Tesla is very important uh, in China. Well, on one hand side, let's say, despite the fact that it is still one of the stronger electric brands sold here in China, it's quite a small booth. I have to say a little bit of disappointing. There is no interactivity, no customer experience. And this is the point on one hand side, Tesla was very known for that they do the direct sales system. Um, they, they have a very, let's say, digitalized uh, orientation. But overall, Tesla was the trendsetter. It is still a very trusted brand. While, of course, the Chinese EVs cars are really coming up with this, the sheer presence of uh, Chinese manufacturers, the way they are presenting themselves, the, the amount of cars, of new cars, of uh, going, of course, into fuel cell, into electricity, coming out forward. I think there is a lot of dynamic going on. So we see China is very fast, very dynamic. And uh, I think uh, in Europe, we have to adapt more in that uh, manner. We are back with uh, Bea. Bea is uh, at NIO. And NIO is a very important startup from China. Well, number one, it is a very, very beautiful booth. I started here with the the Neo Power demonstration, which is not only, of course, that the cars can be charged by the the typical um, wall charger, but as well, the battery can be exchanged. And I think this is one of the main problems nowadays of the EV cars with the batteries, what to do with the battery. And I think this is really a great way. If in between you get stuck somewhere, you don't have any more um, battery but then you can go into a new station and then exchange it. Now, let us uh, talk a little bit about languages, uh, how uh, working together. Uh, I know you are perfect in Chinese language. Is it, how important is it to, to have uh, bilingual, uh, bilingual training to closer, come closer together in the business world for Chinese and for European people? Well, the point is, on one hand side, um, English is still not totally 
um, rolled out in China to a level that you can really have a business conversation. Speaking perfectly of fluent Chinese is difficult as well. You need to have a long training. Chinese is a very different language to, to English or to German. So um, at least trying to understand it, but to be on a business level fluent is quite difficult. So you need to be tolerant, open, um, and supportive to the people you're talking to and you're working with, because otherwise they don't want to work with you. Railways are very important because railways help us to make it with less CO2 of the transportation, less CO2 compared, for example, for airplanes or for shipping and all these things. What is the role of railway transportation in China? China really put a lot of money to, uh, to establish and to really expand the railway system. And of course, the, the high-speed trains, so you get from Beijing to Shanghai within from four and a half hours. So this is really, really important. And if we just look back two weeks ago, when the Suez Canal was actually blocked, this showed again that the direct line uh, over Asia is quite important and could be helpful as an additional alternative. So that has been three days of uh, Shanghai Auto, which we presented to you. Thank you very much, Bea. It was great to have you and giving us uh, this insight into the Chinese market. We appreciate to have you in our uh, reporters. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings to Germany. Bye-bye.